look back at the 2023 season. Teams across the state had every kind of result. There were winless teams, state championship efforts, and Cinderella stories. But in Reese Puffer, there was history. They qualified for the playoffs in back-to-back seasons for the first time in program history. Three years ago, they were the only team in the county on the outside looking in. Over the last two years, Reese Puffer has started to turn heads across the entire state. The only question is, is this turnaround for real? To understand the answer to this question, we should probably get to know the community of Reese Puffer a little better. Reese Puffer lies on the edge of one of West Michigan's major cities, Muskegon. This creates one of the most diverse student bodies in the state, from the lakeshore to the farmhouses to the inner city of Muskegon. Every type of family lives within the bounds of Reese Puffer School District, and they all have two things in common, hard work and passion for the Reese Puffer Rockets. The people of Reese Puffer are no strangers to hard work. In fact, they've shown a flash of potential in the football program before. In 1992, the Rockets went 13-0 and brought home a title trophy. Unfortunately, this is still their only one. And even worse, they haven't won a playoff game since. The community is starving for football success. And when a community is starving for success, well, I'll just let Coach Cater say it in his own words. You know, these guys are, these guys are hungry, but there's a difference between hungry and starvation. Um, and when you're starving, you'll find a way to get the things that you need to get. And, I, and we're gonna build a program, you know, that resembles those ideas. It's easy to realize you're starving when everyone else around you is eating a four course meal. Reese Puffer is a prime example of that. Neighbors, Mona Shores, Montague, Muskegon, North Muskegon, Oak Ridge, Ravenna, Muskegon Catholic Central, and several others have combined for hundreds of playoff wins in countless district, regional, and even state titles. Reese Puffer lies in the prime greeting ground for football success yet it has never managed to sustain a successful program. It is clear that Reese Puffer is a sleeping giant. And to wake it up, the community needed someone who knew it through and through. And who knows it better than the former Muskegon County superstar, Cody Cater. Cody Cater attended Montague High School, where he won two state titles and amassed over 6,000 yards passing and 80 touchdowns. He then went on to college, where he won a junior college national title and played for the Central Michigan University Chippewas. He decided his playing career wasn't enough though, so he got into coaching. He was an assistant to Pat Collins at Montague and Noel Dean, two Michigan high school coaching legends. And then he took the reins at Reese Puffer. It's safe to say Cody was motivated by his tenures under both Collins and Dean but he wanted to build his own program with his own twist. Building and prioritizing the relationships first. This is especially apparent with last year's starting quarterback, Antrell Jones. Um, he's someone uh, that has a really high upside. He's incredibly charismatic. He, he is someone that um, can bring a team together and he, he is, he is, he's hungry, you know, to prove himself. Antrell's heart has always been apparent, but two years ago, even he would tell you he wasn't up to the program standard. So I'm coming in thinking, you know, everything was just gonna be easy work, and I got beat out pretty much. Got beat out for the spot, and I was missing days, like every day, every day. I come to school like three hours late. I had like a down spiral and uh, ended up getting suspended. Antrell didn't let this dark spot stop him though. He learned from it. Through the help of Cody Cater, of course. When I was in when I was in that dark spot, it was like every day, like literally every day, Cater was texting me every day, every morning, how you doing today? How you doing today? How you feeling? Like making sure I'm coming to practice. He called on my house, making sure I'm there. Like it was just everything. And then not only that, but he was encouraging people from the team to just get around me so I just wouldn't like fall off the edge, you know what I'm saying? So like it was like he was putting things in place to where 
he wanted me to be successful. Like he wanted to help me. Like he reached out. Like it's, it wasn't just like no no contact type of thing. So like it was easy to be around, come back. It was just like home, honestly. I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a second chance. We continue to love him. And he, he continued to be in the program. You know, he just couldn't play in games. And he, he stuck he stuck that out. Yep. And he stuck that out and he worked he worked through that and I just wanted to be a part of something and my something was the team and although I had let them down, they welcomed me with open arms. So it was like it was easy to come back and be that leader that they wanted. So it was like, why not it be me? And throughout Antrell's senior year, become that leader is exactly what he did. Like to the young guys, bro, it's like when you're not when you're not in, bro. Honestly, just watch, bro. Like you, you don't even gotta you don't even gotta like know everything played like step for step, but just watch. Like take take some of the stuff in. Like pay attention to the little things. Like the little things is what's gonna matter the most. Cause at the end of the day, the little things is what they want the most. Cause those large, bigger things, those things are gonna come as they go. But like like foundation up, foundation up. It takes piece by piece. You know, we gotta keep adding on. Antrell's leadership was just as apparent on the field as it was off the field. He finished with over 1,400 yards and 22 total touchdowns throughout his senior campaign. Enough to land him a spot on the Muskegon Area Dream Team. This attitude isn't just shared by Cody, it's shared by anyone he puts on his staff as well. One person in particular? Cody's college roommate and best friend, who just so happened to be the defensive coordinator at Reese Puff for the past two seasons. His name? Alex Smith. I mean, so I'm not even from this part of the country. I uh, lived in Portland, Oregon for the first 16 years of my life. And then um, my dad got laid off, moved to Chicagoland, um, went to a huge high school, about like 3,000 kids and um i was lost man like moving in the middle of high school to a new place um it was football that like really got me connected with people and the relationships and the coaches they made me want to play college football and then i went up to central michigan that's where i met cody and i was instantly attracted to to him and his and his personality because we were in a lot of the same classes and we kind of always talked about hey if i get a job you should come coach with me or if i got a job you come coach with me and i got a phone call when the job opened and and one of those things was i need to be able to bring one guy with me i'm not asking for the whole staff um you know but i need to bring one guy in with me into the building um and and that guy was always alex at puffer both Cody and Alex's dream of coaching together came true. And like Cody, Alex had a long road to get here. He was that shepherd, then he was at Spring Lake, so then he was a West Side guy. He figured out the, you know, this is a pretty nice area. Um, they went from Spring Lake to Grand Rapids Christian. And so then he went from Grand Rapids Christian to be the head coach at Holton. And so he was right down the road, yeah, you know, kind of a crazy roundabout way. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed my experience at Holton. Um, but I was definitely not ready for the head coaching role. And when he gave me the opportunity to come here and teach and coach, and I just felt like I was, as a, head, as a current head, head coach, um, and having to coach coaches, and I, I felt like I was, it was a good opportunity for me to like come in and really grow as an assistant coach and as a coordinator. And um, yeah, it was just right moment, right time. Alex's role in rebuilding the Rockets has been massive. But since the end of the 2023 season, Alex has decided to move on from Reese Buffer and prove himself once more at a different school in 2024. He still has all the praise for his best friend though. You know, you're, you're friends with a guy and you think you know him, but then you start working with him and you're with him all day. And, you know, he, he's a much, um, kind of like what I said, he's a lot different, but like he's a great leader. You know what I mean? Like he's a great motivator and honestly in college, I don't remember him ever speaking up. So he's really grown into, um, you know, like an elite leader and motivator. With putting the focus on building the program up through relationships and developing character, Cody and his coaching staff have set the stage. 
for their players to buy into the process. I mean, practice is 10 times different compared to what it was two years ago, you know, and Cater has put so much on the plate for us to get better. But that could be like a father figure. The next moment, that could just be like another friend, like um, this is their personalities and their characteristics that make some, some people that you want to be around. Team where everybody wants to be here, everybody wants to be better, you know, we're getting better every day. Um, it's only one thing to do, and that's keep grinding, go out every day, be the best we can, and I feel like that's what everyone on our team wants. Once you start seeing um, the outcome of the progress and the process, um, it makes you want to keep working harder and gotcha. believe what he says. From lifting to schedule to structure to being on time to community events, actually caring for the, this, a lot, everything pretty much. That I'd still be kind of like going to the weight room, but kind of missing reps and doing things like that. A big part of my development, just from like uh, being able to read certain coverages to actually know what I'm supposed to be looking at on the field or like um, from what reads are good reads to what ones are bad and just everything, honestly. When you look at the changing culture throughout the Reese Puffer football program, you can see that it's built a better football team. And more importantly, a sense of hope throughout the community that Reese Puffer might just be building the next Muskegon County power. Oh, and they like to have their fun too. Damn. Let's <laughs> go!